Hi, I'm Ted and these are my outdoors. Today I'll be doing a quick demonstration of my favorite type of survival spear for any type of self-defense and you can make it a little bit smaller and do fishing with it. So I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. So when looking for a good stick for a survival spear, what you want is something that's a little bit taller than you so if you trip you're not going to spear yourself in the eye or head. And you're going to want something long and about two inches wide, one to two inches wide, and I found that right here. about like that. Now that I have the pole or staff I'm going to use for the spear, I'm just going to clean it up real quick. I'm just going to use the spine of my knife, the 90 degree spine, to scrape off all the twigs some of the bark and all the moss and then the blade to get more of the twigs off. And then I'm going to baton, I'm going to take the thicker end and baton down that. I cut that off, so I'm just going to throw that away. But now that I have three splits in it, and I can test them and see if they're strong, now I'm just going to stick a couple sticks in here and sharpen that up. So I'm just going to stick a couple twigs in this, like you'd be making one of the popular torches out there, just to spread these pieces apart. And then I'll take my knife and I'll sharpen them up. Now this doesn't have to necessarily be a green stick. It can be whatever you have, but it's best to have a hardwood so that the tips are stronger. And you can fire hard in this, but I won't be I won't be doing that. I have done that before and it's worked really well, but I probably won't. I don't know, I might. Now I just have some bank line. I don't have any paracord on me, but usually I prefer bank line. And all I'm gonna do with this bank line is to reinforce the spear that we've already created. And you can see that I've sharpened up each one of these tips. I left them relatively blunt, so I'm not going to hurt myself on them. But that's so they, that they don't break if you have to stab an animal or whatever you're defending yourself against. Now, this is a popular way to build a fishing spear, but that's not what I'll be using this for. for if you're using it for sp fishing, you probably want to uh, make it a little bit smaller and the spear sharper. I'm just going to wrap around 
these twigs that I stuck in here to spread them apart. I'm just going to keep wrapping. You don't have to do it perfect or anything. Just to reinforce it. And then I'm just going to cut this. And then just well, I'm going to split this one of these twigs down. And then I'm going to put this piece right into that split. Hold it tight so it doesn't come loose. Now let's wrap around a couple times and put it back in. Just like that. Okay, I'm just going to bevel this off. Like that. And that, all that's going to do is when I'm walking with this, it's going to make it so it's not going to fray out and mushroom out and then split down the middle of the spear. So all I'm just going to do is bevel it. Now this can be used, again, for fishing, but you'd want to make it smaller and sharpen the tips up more. But this, the reason this stick is pretty thick because I won't be using it for fishing, just self-defense. I'm just going to bevel it out just like that. Oh, wow. Still sharp.